We continue to get updates on breaking news in Ogden where fires destroyed multiple homes. Scott McCain is live with what we know so far. And Scott, of course, it's still early on in the investigation. Uh, but what can you tell us right now? I can tell you there's a lot of work going on behind us already. I mean, in the aftermath of dousing this massive three alarm blaze, Rocky Mountain power crews have already been on scene for a couple of hours now trying to reestablish power to the area. Uh, a few neighborhoods within a few blocks of where we are now on 28th Street had been without power for much of the morning, including some street lights. So they're trying to get that reestablished ASAP. But, you know, again, the real work beginning, trying to figure out exactly what sparked this blaze. And also for the folks in these neighboring businesses to figure out when and if they can reopen their businesses. And this was such a huge fire. And Steve Blunt in particular, he's been running his My Mechanic Auto Shop right across from the site of this blaze for nearly a decade. Now, he says he was first alerted to the possibility there could be some issues with the shop late last night when his alarm went off, uh, an alarm company calling him. Well, then, not long after that, his phone blew up with friends saying that, yeah, your building is on fire. So today, in the aftermath of all of this, uh, Steve was kind enough to give us a couple of minutes, and he was walking through what's left of his building. Uh, the roof is totally torched. And he says, now, the big concern is getting the cars that he has in his possession that he was working on, getting them back to his customers. Then he'll see if insurance will cover the cost of possibly reopening. I'll definitely bounce back from this. It's it's not the first time, you know, I've had setbacks, so it's part of being a small business owner, and I'll get through it. 